Hello, hello everyone, good afternoon. This is teacher Mayra and welcome to the class. Okay, so in this class we are practicing about personal appearance. Okay, so what is personal appearance? Personal appearance is to describe a person. El, es para describir a una persona. So today we're going to practice to describe yourself. Van a describirse ustedes mismos, okay? To describe yourself, use, use the verb have. So say, I have. I have long hair. I have uh, black eyes. I have a small nose. And now I'm going to show you some pictures and we're going to describe them. So look, she has wave hair. When I talk about the girl, um, I use the personal pronoun she. Cuando hablo de tercera persona, de ella, utilizo el pronombre she. Entonces voy a describir su apariencia física, ¿ya? So I, I'm going to use the verb have. El verbo have en tercera persona es has. She has long hair. She has white skin. She has black eyes. Okay, now, now look. He. When I talk about a boy, cuando hablo de un chico, I use the personal pronoun he. He has. Él tiene. He has Short hair, short hair. He has black eyes, black eyes. Okay, so now we're going to look about the personal appearance of these people, yeah? We're going to look the hair. He has short hair. She has Blonde hair, about the color. The color in English is not yellow. Este color en inglés no se dice amarillo, ¿ya? El rubio se dice blonde. She has blonde hair. She has blonde hair. She has curly hair. ¿Sí ven? Es churito, churón. Curly. She has curly hair. She has a straight, lacio, straight, lacio. Entonces, eh, de ella puedo decir el color, eh, la forma y también el tamaño. Diría entonces, she has black, straight and short hair. ¿Ok? Mm. And this last one, y el último que ya les había mostrado, es long, largo, long. Y este, a diferencia del el otro que vimos, no es tan rizado, es ondulado, ¿ya? Es ondulado y se dice wave, wave, hair. Ok, so now you use the verb have to describe your robot. Ok, ustedes usaron el, usaron el verbo have para describir un robot, ¿verdad? Ahora, now, I would like that you describe your family. So, first, we're going to look at family. So, here I have mom, dad, a brother, a baby, sister, grandpa, Grandma. And another part of the family is the uncle. The uncle is el tío. And, whoops. <laughs> the aunt is the tía, aunt. And the cousin. A cousin is el primo. So, I know that you have 
and many members in your family. And I would like that you choose a member in your family and describe them. So I'm going to describe my mommy. So yo voy a describir a mi mommy. Yeah, we're going to suppose that this is my mommy. So I will say, I say she is, she is tall, she is tall, she is thin. Ella es alta, ella es delgada. She has, she has short hair. She has blonde hair. And she has gray eyes, gray eyes. And now I'm going to describe my sister. She is small. She is thin. She has long hair. She has a long hair. And she has red hair. She has red hair. She has green eyes. Green eyes. Okay? So... I'm going to show you some words. Fat. Fat. So, ankle is fat. My ankle is fat. Fat. This is fat. Gordito is fat. <laughs> okay. And this is thing. Thing. Thin. My aunt is thin. Mi tía. My aunt is thin. Es delgada. This is tall. 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 Es alto. My cousin. My cousin is tall. And let's see. The last one is... Do you know what is the last one? <laughs> okay, the last one is short, short. The baby is short, the baby is short. El bebé es pequeño, short. Very good. So you can use those words to describe four people in your family. Van a usar estas palabras para describir a cuatro personas en su familia. So, don't forget. First, you say, okay, first you say fat or thin. Primero van a describir si es fat o thin. Usando he is, si hablan de un chico, o she is, si hablan de una chica. En este caso, si hablo de, de daddy, diría he is fat o he is thin. Luego de esto, van a decir el tamaño. ¿tá? Entonces, diré, he is short o he is tall. Seguido de eso, voy a utilizar has para describir su cabello, ya, su figura física. So, uh, he has short hair, uh, he has um, black hair, he has brown eyes, y pueden utilizar también los tonos de la piel, black, white, eh, también pueden utilizar cómo es el cabello. Yo les voy a agregar también el vocabulario de eso para que ustedes puedan describir de mejor manera, ¿ok? Ok, dos últimas palabras que pueden agregar a su descripción y es young, young, and old, old. Young, que es joven, y old, que es vieja. Ya, no se considera un insulto en inglés decir old a una persona. En, entonces yo describiré, I'm going to describe my grandma, and I will say, y diré primero, she is tall, she is fat. She has short hair, she has small eyes, and she is old. Ella es mayor. She is old. Okay? So, the homework that you have to do, entonces la tarea que tienen que hacer es describe four people in your family. Yeah. So, let's see you in the next uh, class. Bye-bye.